It's the goal of this symposium to change the conversation and go beyond the false choices of apocalypse or stasis to understand how our institutions can thrive and contribute in this new era. Personally, I think that this is an extraordinarily exciting time to be a college leader because we are in the knowledge business at a time when knowledge is being created, transformed, and distributed at an unprecedented rate. The disruptive innovation transforms something that in the middle was complicated and expensive. Disruption makes it so much more affordable and accessible that whole new populations of people have access to it. Online learning is a technology, but the impact depends upon how we deploy it into the market. Is there moving up market? Is there something that they actually truly cannot uh, displace in our value offering? I wanted to start with a quote from Clay. He is deeply worried about higher education. I think the, the question we really have to ask ourselves is whether those theories do genuinely apply to something that is not a commodity. Uh, and I think, you know, there is a tech core, perhaps, and that tech core is about information. There's no question that we can deliver content, we can deliver information. And I join my colleagues in thinking that information is quite distinct from education. Liberal arts colleges, in some ways, are exactly this disruptive force, if you will. Uh, and it's funny to me that higher education, the, some of the big universities are saying, oh, um, we're thinking of new ways of teaching where instead of just delivering content, you actually engage students and so forth. You have uh -huh. discussions. Well, that's mm -hmm. what we've been doing for years. Technology has powerful things, powerful opportunity to implement, to affect and improve the way in which we bring information to people. But when that information is brought to students, we still see that we need a mentor, an educated adult mentor to guide the student in the apprehension of that information and the use of that information to accomplish something higher. As students grow up with social networks and increasingly sophisticated technologies, which may, will soon include holograms and everything else, I think some of our ideas about community will become more hybrid, that it doesn't have to be purely physical, uh, that there'll be a mix. I don't think it will be entirely online either, uh, but I, I think that's a challenge to us. Technology could potentially help um, there in ways that I just be, think we're just beginning to see. Um, everything from online AP courses for students who are in, in school systems that really don't provide really opportunity at the high level, um, to even getting better at sort of fitting individual students to individual colleges, because we still get that fit wrong a lot. And I think technology can help us a lot on that front. I look around at the people on the stage with me here and at you in the audience, and I see passion and innovation and entrepreneurship and dedication. And I'm very impressed by all of that. I think that we're doing a wonderful job in higher education. We at the small liberal arts colleges should not be afraid of disruptive educational technology. We have a unique opportunity to pick and choose what's out there and, and find new ways to use it to improve education. That we need to be bold, we need to be creative, and we need to not be afraid to experiment. Thank you very much.